we go then. Hello guys, welcome back to Cassette Confessions. Excuse the rain, apologies for the weather around here. In this video we're looking at first songs from 1991. Um, mm, this is a very strange one, this is a very, out of all the videos I've owned, this is actually probably the strangest VHS I've owned. It, you know, very peculiar, very strange this one. Um, Let's preface this. It's a video to do with nursery rhymes you tell to your children. Very much all someone sings to your children. Fair enough. What's so strange about that? It's sung by Susie Quattro. Believe it, this one. So it's like, oh, really? So, a little bit of backstory with this. So, this actually came, well, I found this in the photo that I saw previously mentioned with a previous video, of course. And the previous one, Post and Pat's ABC. And I found this actually as well in the there's like a long rack, there's like a tiny little rack and a, another rack as well. At the bottom rack had, there was this um, song called First Songs. I can't, it probably, yeah it would have been because I, I have interesting good vision sometimes. And yeah, I have like mental vision so very much, so it's a bit strange. Yeah, um, fair enough. Yeah, it's like my other life really, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's a bit strange how to come by. When I actually researched it, I thought, really? Are you kidding me? I own that. It's like, yeah, it, seem, it may seem all right. It seem well, to me, it seems a bit weird having this beer chest that is sung by who was a big star in the 70s, who was actually seen this around in the 90s. It's a bit, that's a bit off kilter for, for, a, you know, for a, a musician, like a music, a, well, music star, but an artist, performer, very much. It's a bit, again, strange. Very strange, even though you've seen, you might have seen workout videos with Coronet Street cast going on, like in, in the late 90s, you think, what's, that's all right actually. <laughs> to be honest, that's all right actually, that's all, that's all slides by. This is sort of, I don't know, I have mixed feelings about this actually, because even though you have a nice selection of nursery rhymes that, 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 uh, that is sort of like ideal to, for children to listen to and just maybe not sleep, fair enough. Mind you, there are some nursery rhymes videos out there that are very strange. Indeed, when you get to the, like from costume bears to some weird, weird 3D animation and some weird bizarre stuff. Uh, so that, VH, that f first song is in that camp very much. It's in that, um, you know, it's not like a farmer going around in, in a fake playhouse and stuff like that and you know, like, you know, that's what you do. In this case you have Susie Quattro on the bedside into a, maybe to her daughter or someone's daughter, I don't know, and just singing her sing in nursery rhymes. I don't know what else is included on there, but it felt this felt out of touch, really. It's quite bizarre. Um, I can't really go into detail with the nursery rhymes I included on there because it's a bit uh, very much. I mean, I don't intend to look at nursery rhyme videos at all, really, but this is just the one that's, incl that's just included in this collection. Believe it or not, it's a, not, it's a very strange oddity. It's the it's the it's the weirdest one out of the oddities itself. Like it, it tops the strangest, strangest one ever. That's a weird one off, and it's like, mm. <laughs> yeah, God, oh my God. Yeah, so I have nothing else to say really about this one. All I can know is it's, it's just a nursery, it's a nursery video with Susie Quattro singing, <laughs> very much. Um, I can't imagine anyone, anyone else actually, I don't know. Who else would have done that? I just don't know really. It wouldn't be a bit peculiar. And yeah, I don't know if anyone else has done that actually. I think it's just like just people with fake voice like Gary Marta or something like that, you know, just singing this for, for about maybe a few VHSs, of course, or something. I think that's what he did actually, believe it or not, in the 90s. Um, but having someone like a, like a, a glam rock star doing this rounds for children is a bit, it can be a bit, a bit of a double edged sword. On one hand, it could be interesting, so people people like teeny boppers can actually go, have children and think that'll do, that'll, that'll be interesting. On the one, on the other hand, it's quite, you look back at it and think, oh, really, if you look back at the 70s and the glam years, it's like, hmm, there are some shady stuff that there is, and I don't want to bring that sort of, this sort of stuff up, but yeah, um, I don't know really. Comment down below if you know this VHS. If it's just me on my own, I think. Oh, yeah. I think I'm just, I'm in the I'm in the in, in this boat just on my own. So, who knows? But I did a fair amount actually ever owned this VHS. I actually enjoyed it. It might be some gear. It might be enjoyable now because you know Susie Crotcher and know what hits and everything else. You know, if you're a teeny bopper in the 70s, 
and again have children, it might be ideal. Maybe that's why maybe that's why my parents have got this. Maybe that's what mum would go for. Susie Quatch, you're seeing this around. Oh, fair enough. She used to be a teeny bopper back in the day. Uh, back in the 70s. So it's like, uh, okay. Uh, uh, my, life, my childhood's strange. It's strange. And of course, it bring, my upbringing's a bit strange as well. So, yes. So, again, blame it to the parents. I think more blame it to the parents on this place, yes. Blame my mum, actually, on this one. So, uh, yeah. I don't know, it's a bit str yeah. strange. Absolute strange. There we go, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video. And goodbye.